Good morning everyone, today we're comparing a phone, a Pixel 4, to a $5,000 camera. If you're ready guys, let's get started. Alright guys, welcome to a new episode. Today I've got a challenge, not for myself, but for you. I want you to tell me the difference between a Pixel 4 and an A7R 3 with 1635. What I mean by that is that I'm gonna take photos, the same photos, with both cameras and then you're gonna have to tell me which one was shot with the phone and which one was shot with the camera. I will reveal everything at the end and I think it's gonna be a fun game especially since we're in 2019 going 2020 and I think like phones are getting to be like really seriously good. Last year I tested the night modes today we're gonna do a little bit of sunset. If you're ready let's go let's get started. So here we go guys shot number one we're gonna take those train tracks with the city in the background. And what I want to explain first is the settings I'm going to be using. I'm going to shooting in full auto on the phone and I'm going to be using raw mode, meaning you can shoot raw images. That way I can edit them before I show them to you. I'm not going to show you out of the camera. I'm going to edit them a little bit because it has to look real if we really want to compare. And then with my camera, with the i7R3 1635, I'm just going to shoot like I would normally so probably either in manual or in aperture priority, changing my aperture depending on how I feel like I want that shot, but we'll see, it should be fairly interesting. I'm kind of curious to see who will be able to tell which one is which. All right, let's get, a, let's get set up. All right, so first part, I'm gonna get that train line with the background and we've got some epic lights. I think in half an hour, it might look dope with the sunset. All right, so first shot, with the phone here we go nothing too crazy leaving it kind of auto i can see already it's doing a little bit of hdr i mean it's bringing up a little bit the shadows which can be nice here i'm gonna be at 24 kind of looks good too there we go shooting at f 4.5 let's go let's see Stack. same shot on both now it's your turn to tell me which one is which let's go first shot All right, shot number two, guys, is going to be super simple also. We're going to be shooting those towers with the kind of uh, clouds passing by. It's fairly easy as a shot. You don't need any special aperture or anything. You could literally shot it, shoot it with any camera. Now, can you see the difference between an expensive one and a phone? Well, that's going to be a good question. Let's go. All right, getting a little bit of the towers, a little bit of an angle. It's a little slanted, doing the same thing here. Boom. All right, so we've got the two shots. Now I want you to tell me which one is which. Drop me in the comments, let me know. Oh, and guys, before you tell me that this is not fair because those shots are like at high aperture and they're fairly simple, we're gonna do a series too and we're gonna shoot portraits with a phone and with a camera just to compare. And I think that might be even easier to find out which one was shot with that camera and which one with the phone. We'll see, but right now let's try in the bush over there so we can uh, uh, add something in the foreground and see if we can tell the difference faster or not. I don't know if we should focus on the foreground or the background. Kind of hesitating what kind of stuff we're gonna take. I kind of like that though. So. Alright guys, so maybe we're gonna do one where I'm focused on the foreground. Boom. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit, maybe two. I like it wide actually with the with the plants, like contrasting with the buildings. And then I'm gonna do one where I'm shooting actually on the background. I'm gonna use that really to kind of mask out Stuff. there we go so we're trying so I'm trying by putting like the stuff in front of the lens kind of just kind of masking out trying to get something a little bit different not sure how good that eh, I don't like maybe that angle is better uh, there we go let's let's try like that oh god that's that's terrible that's terrible okay that's better let's try and now let's try with the big one so we said number one we focus on the foreground, so I'm gonna shoot at f2.8, that one, because I think it's gonna look better. Uh, ISO auto, there we go. Got some good bokeh. Maybe a little bit higher, actually, like f5 might be better on that one. 
Okay, and now I'm gonna use that to kind of frame the subject again. Boom. All right, we've got two shots. One we're focused on the foreground, one we're focused, uh, we used actually that foreground to mask. Let me know which one is which, which one you prefer. And now let's find something a little bit more exciting to shoot also. I mean, that's cool, but let's see what we can do. All right, shot number three, guys. No, four, five, who cares? Next shot is we're gonna be here on the lake. We're gonna have that reflection of the city. Now, that might be a little bit tricky because usually you can drag the shutter and get a beautiful reflection, like super flat on the surface. Right now, we're kind of lucky because it's very glassy on the lake, as you can see. So, can you tell the difference? Yes, no? Well, let's try. Uh, gonna start with the phone and then we're gonna take the camera. Let's get on the floor, let's get dirty, avoid the, what is that, geese, goose? Goose turds. Goose poop. <laughs> All right, and let's get it. Don't drop the phone. That's step number one, because I don't have anything to hold it. All right, I got one shot. If I look at the photo, I think we got something. I'm gonna take one more, guys, really close to the water, so Phone upside down, kind of like that. Kind of afraid now, getting intense. Ooh, the water is cold. Oh my god, one, two, three, boom. All right, I think we got that one. Now, we're gonna try with the camera. Hey, let's not drop that one because that's expensive. <laughs> All right, let's see. I'm gonna shoot at 35 millimeter, uh, f 2.8, simply because it's gonna look, I think, better if we're close to the surface just to blur out stuff. And then, all right, center line. Taking those three different shots too, boom. I'm just gonna try something by throwing a few leaves in front of it. I've seen it on TikTok and Instagram. So, why not try, ready? It's not very practical with one hand. That was a big fail. That is the, the ugliest thing I've, I've probably shot in, in a very long time. I mean, look, look at that. It's just like proper garbage a virus for your memory card all right new idea super creative day <laughs> all right guys we're gonna try that shot because i, I kind of want to see the difference between the camera and the phone on that one i'm gonna put that leaf in the water focus on the foreground meaning on the leaf and have that city in the background which is cool because we've got a bunch of light so let's see what it looks like Look, damn it it went upside down what do i do okay fine let's let's leave with it all right can you just say let's leave with it Ah, <laughs> okay, went really wide, it's sinking, so I have to hurry. Let's try. Don't fall in. Don't fall. Oh, that's funny. Sorry. It's so weird, but it's actually focused tracks. It's, it's kind of amazing. If I tap on something, it's going to follow it and keep focusing on it. It's beautiful. So we got the shot before we fall. It's your turn. Let me know in the comments what you think. All right, guys, that was fun. Okay, that was clearly not my best photography in the world, but I wanted to take you on that adventure. I wanted to show you the different uh, kind of shots you can get, and I wanted to pick your brain on which one is which. Gonna reveal that in a second, but remember, your grandfather, your parents, and everyone before that used to take photos. Maybe they didn't have the best gear or whatever, but they still were able to take great photos. So great photos does not equal great cameras. Great cameras does not equal great photos. So just keep that in mind. Practice is the most important. Getting out there, finding those frames, just having fun is the most important. That's what I, it was all about in that video. We're gonna do sequel number two, which is gonna be just focused on portraits. If you're ready for that one, make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell, I mean, you know what to do, blah, blah, blah. Now let's look at a photo. I wanna see which one of you has it all right. I was gonna say you guys can win the presets, but there's no way for me to know if you skipped at the end of the video or not. So let's... Uh A 
Did I mention also it's not a sponsored video like pfft, no one paid me to do anything I'm just having fun that's it and everyone go say hi to Cole he's almost at 10k on Instagram can, can you guys make it happen please right now go down let's go bye <laughs>